hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and happy new year to you and yours so in today's episode which is the first episode for 2024 okay <laughs> the first episode for today for this year is how to file VAT on tax pro max in 2024 and we'll be taking a look at every single thing you need to know about filing your VAT on tax pro max in 2024 so before we go into the details of how to file let's start by explaining or let's do a bit of introduction about what VAT is so VAT is a consumption tax charged on the supply of all vertical goods and services meaning um it is charged on the supply of all vertebrae, meaning there are some goods and services that are exempted from VAT. Now, the VAT rate in Nigeria as of today, the 5th of January 2024, is 7.5% for vertical goods and services and the VAT rate for zero rated goods and services is zero percent the deadline for filing of VAT in Nigeria is the 21st day of the next month following the day in which the VAT was deducted so I hope that is clear so let's move on to the next thing on the list okay guys so now that we understand um now that we have like a fair knowledge of what VAT is all about let's go ahead and understand this very very interesting and important concept the input VAT and the output VAT this is actually a very confusing concept and we need to take time to look at it so let's start by understanding what is input VAT input VAT is VAT paid on your supplies when you purchase something as a business owner you know you buy things and you sell things when you buy things from your suppliers the VAT that you pay on those things is called your input VAT input VAT is VAT on your purchases while your output VAT is the VAT that you charge or you collect on your sales when you're selling to your customers you charge VAT on the invoices that VAT that you charge on the invoices is called your output VAT now according to the law as a business owner, you are only supposed to pay the difference between your output VAT and your input VAT to the government in any particular month. What it means is that if you made a sale, if you charge VAT of 100,000 Naira on your sale for January, for instance, and you paid VAT of 50,000 Naira to your suppliers, which is your input VAT, the VAT that you're supposed to pay to the government should be 100,000 Naira minus 50,000 Naira, which is 50,000 Naira. So your VAT payable is the difference between your output VAT and your input VAT. Now, but you need to understand that there is a clause involved. There is a clause involved, and this is where a lot of people get it wrong. The first thing you need to know is that according to Section 5, Subsection 3 of the Value Added Tax Act, there are restrictions to what you can claim as impute VAT. The only things that you can claim as impute VAT is number one, goods that are purchased or imported directly for resale. So when you buy a goods with the intention of, of, of selling it, or you imported a goods with the intention of reselling it, you can claim impute VAT on that particular goods, right? The second thing is any goods goods that you bought for use in the production of your final output can you can claim impute VAT on such goods or raw materials so what it means is that as a manufacturing company if you are let's say you're a manufacturing company into the production of slippers and you bought raw materials maybe foam needed to produce those slippers those kind of goods you understand that they are like raw materials needed to produce the final output you can claim the VAT that you pay to your suppliers on those forms that you bought you can claim it as impute VAT but you see any other thing aside from that so let's say somebody came to repair something for you in your factory that's a service you cannot claim impute VAT on those kind of things those the VAT that you pay to that particular person who came to repair something for you are going to expense it you're not going to use it to reduce your output VAT that is what the law says then the second thing you need to understand is that any VAT that you pay on capital items so let's say you bought an asset the VAT on that asset cannot be used to reduce your output VAT those kind of VAT should be capitalized with the cost of that asset you need to understand that. and then the third and the most important part is that impute VAT is not claimable by service-based company so it means that if you're a company that is involved that is involved in rendering services to people you cannot claim impute VAT so any VAT that you play you pay on your supply on your supplies or any impute VAT you pay to your suppliers should be expense. So using the same es um, es explanation that we used earlier. So let's say you 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 sold goods in a particular month and you charge VAT of hundred thousand 
area on those goods that's your output vat and then you bought goods from the suppliers and the vat you bought the vat that you paid on on those goods is let's say twenty thousand. dollars remember you are a service-based company as a service-based company at the end of the month you are going to pay the entire hundred thousand error that you charge on your invoice to the government that twenty thousand dollar vat that you 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 paid on those goods that you purchase you cannot claim it because you are a service-based company so as a service-based company you cannot claim any input vat that is what the law says so whatever you you collect from your customer you cannot reduce it you go ahead and pay everything to the government so i hope this is very very clear now let's move on to the other thing the next thing we have on the list is list is how to file your new VAT so you're wondering what does new VAT mean so you remember there are times I mean it happens in the business where you don't make sales in that particular month and then if you are not really in line in tune with what the law says you would just assume that since I didn't make sales I'm not supposed to file VAT I mean there's nothing to pay so why should I bother filing but that is not what the law says the law says that regardless of whether you made sales in a particular month or not you should still go ahead and file your VAT so for those months Months where you did not make any sales what you file in those months is what is called your new VAT meaning nothing happened so to file your new VAT um, this is how you to file your new VAT the first thing you need to do is go to your tax pro max portal I mean go to your web browser and then just type tax pro max login it's that easy it takes you to the page click on it and then you impute your details so um i already have mine logged in that's why I just it just went straight in so once you are on the tax pro max page what you need to do is go to your taxes deal click on taxes deal you would see that your vat for that particular month for the previous month is is showing as pending filing so you click on process once you click on process you click on sales schedule remember that you click on the the, the returning currency whether it is naira pounds dollars we are using error in this particular case remember that you did not make any sales for that particular month so there is no need for you to upload your to upload um to update any sales schedule you don't have any details to put there so you just click on proceed you don't need to worry about that just click on proceed once you're done click on you it takes you to this page click on proceed again then once you're done it takes you to the sales adjustment page you don't have anything to adjust click on proceed again and then it takes you to this final page once you're on this final page you would see that your sales is zero your input vat is zero everything here is zero and then you are your vat payable which is the most important is is showing zero it means you are not paying anything all you need to do is go to this click here to declare click tick that box and go ahead go ahead and submit once you're done submitting that is all you need to do about filing your vat you are done filing your vat for that particular month now that we're done with filing understanding how to file the new VAT the next thing you want to say is how do I file my regular VAT so in a particular month where you made sales how do I file the VAT so now there are two scenarios remember that I explained earlier that as a service-based companies you don't have business with claiming impute VAT now and then as a manufacturing company you can claim impute VAT on the goods that you purchase for manufacturing or the raw materials that you purchase so let's we are going to use two scenarios so let's say if you're an accountant working in a service-based company this okay so to file your VAT in any particular month there are two scenarios that can be involved that can be involved is either you are working in a service-based company that do not claim impute VAT or you're working in a business you're working in a manufacturing company that is allowed by the law to claim impute VAT so the first scenario we're looking at is you're working in a service-based company that is not allowed to claim impute VAT so all you have to do is file and remit the VAT that you collected from your customers you don't you cannot reduce your VAT liability and to do that you come to your to your um, web browser and then you type um, tax pro max and then you click on it go to login to taxes deal come here go to taxes deal you see that your VAT for that period is pending filing go to process and then click on sales schedule and then you download sample templates come here and download sample templates open it okay um this is what the sample template looks like i'm sure that as the accountant or the tax person or the business owner you already have the details of what your sales for the month is you have to break down 
and all you need to do now is to transport that detail that you have from your own file to this file that is required by frs so all you need to do is i don't know how how many sales or the breakdown that you have so you just come and start populating them so let's assume i mean there's some people that come and say that they made sales but they cannot remember their customer they don't have the name of the customer or they don't have the tin of the customer so before i even go let's let's check what each of them is the first one you have here is your beneficiary name the beneficiary tin the item you're selling the item cost the item description and then the vat status so is either you are selling something that is vatable if that thing is vatable meaning you charge vat on it you put the vat status at zero if you are selling something that is zero rated maybe you rendered services to a diplomat or you sold something to a diplomat and then the the vat on that thing is zero percent you can put the vat status as one which means zero rated then the second one is if you are rendering if you are if you are um, if you are rendering if you are selling a product or rendering a service that is vat exempt it means that even though you made sales for that month you did not charge vat on it right so what you put here as the vat status would be two so by the time you input those VAT status and you upload it on tax pro max the portal can automatically decipher which one you're paying tax on and the other ones that you're not paying vat on is that fine so yeah you come to the beneficiary name so let's assume we don't know the name of the parent beneficiary which is let's say customer what's the tin we don't know so let's put zero let's say we sold bed and then the item cost is hundred thousand the item description we can say um big size big size bed big size bed sales for january 2024 what's the bad status zero why because it is vatable we charge vat on it so let's say we render this let's say we rendered another service so let's say we um now we can't use bed though because i said that this scenario is for a service-based company so let's say we rendered services uh, service let's say professional service sorry let's come here and change it to professional service mm, professional service so remember the scenario is a service basically we um now we can't use bed though because i said that this scenario is for a service-based company so let's say we rendered services uh, service let's say professional service sorry let's come here and change it to professional service mm professional service so remember the scenario is a service-based company so let's say it was hundred thousand and then we rendered professional service for january the vat status is zero so in case you have any other thing so the details of all the customers the breakdown if you have any other sales that you made you can come here and impute it but for, for the sake of this um illustration this is all we have so you go ahead and you save this template go ahead and save the template um what's what's it called now so vat january service january 2024 service test so let's save it now that we have the templates we go back to our tax pro max portal we go back to our tax pro max portal um okay so we click on the currency which is naira and then we choose file so we go back and choose that file that we just populated now which is the vat generator 2022 service test okay we click on upload schedule you can see the buyer name not found remember we just put customer there the item professional service the cost hundred thousand vat status vatable remember it was just zero that we put there but the system automatically knows what that zero mean description if you're sure that everything here is fine click on proceed so we click um click on currency again click on proceed no purchase record click on proceed again um if you have any ad sales adjustment that you want to do you can do it here but we don't have any so we click on proceed and then it takes us to the continue i'm sure you're enjoying the tutorial i just wanted to take a minute to please tell you to subscribe to our youtube channel so there are two reasons why you should subscribe to our youtube channel number one when you subscribe to our channel whenever we drop any educative video like this one you'll be the first person to get notified to watch the video then number two that's just your that's just your little way of thanking us for the effort that we put into 
creating these videos then number three i know i said two reasons but number three i also have a gift for you like i might have a gift for you so once you're done subscribing just go to the comment section right now and write i have subscribed i have a template for you if you need any vat template just request for it after you have subscribed i am sure i have something to share with you thank you thank you don't forget once again subscribe and turn on the post notification thank you this page so you can see from this page that your the cost of what you sold or, or your sales for that month is hundred thousand and the vat on that sales is seven thousand five hundred that's your output vat if you scroll down you you realize that you don't have any input vat remember that i said that there are no input vat for service-based companies right this scenario that we're doing right now is for a service-based company so we scroll down and then you see that your VAT payable is seven thousand five hundred. if you are fine with everything that is here you click on the declare click here to declare tick this button and then you submit and you go ahead and make payment and that's that about that you're done with your VAT filing and remittance for that particular month i hope that you understand thank you okay so the second scenario that we want to look at now is let's say you are a manufacturing business so you you are allowed by the law to claim impute vat and then let's say you you paid vat of fifty thousand naira in the month you paid vat of fifty thousand naira in the month on to your suppliers for those goods that you purchase from for, from them for reuse in the production of a final output so you have an impute vat that you can claim of fifty thousand naira. so this is how you are going to go about filing your VAT for that month. So we're still going to use the same um, the same sales schedule that we use, but let's just keep it at the back of our mind that we have a VAT of 50,000 Naira. So let's go. So to do that, all we need to do is... Let me show my screen. We go to your Tax Pro Max, come to Taxes Deal, just like you did before. Um, come to Taxes Deal. Click on Taxes Deal go to vat click on process click on your sales schedule like i said we're going to use the um the currency is nera we're going to use the same or maybe let's change it so let's download a new sample template so we don't use the old one that we use click on sample template let's open it and then we populate it okay so it's loading 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 all right so here we go all we need to do is just for the sake of this tutorial we just assume that we have we made we, we group our sales together normally you shouldn't do that you should list your sales per customer with your tin but for the sake of this tutorial let's just put customer here i said it's a manufacturing business right so let's say we sold the customer the customer vat is zero what did we sell we said we sold bed, bed item cost let's say 200,000 euro and then um bed for bed sales item description we can say bed sales for january sorry for january 2024 the vat status i already explained that before zero means vatable one means they rated and two means VAT exempt so this is vatable so we'll put zero then we go ahead and save it before we go ahead and save it i told us that we're going to assume that we have an impute vat we have an impute vat of fifty thousand euro that's the vat fifty thousand euro now now to get the purchase amount that gave us this impute vat of fifty thousand so all we need to do is purchase amount we'll just say this fifty thousand euro will work back this 50,000 are divided by 0 0.075 and then this is all we have we come in we cut to times 0 0.075 okay so this is this is the purchase amount 6666.67 so let me put that down somewhere so that because we need it when we're filing when we get to the portal 666 666.67 7 7.5 percent of that is the fifty thousand naira that we have so we, let's say the purchase amount is this amount and then vat that we impute vat that we have to claim is this amount the item cost let's check the the impute vat on this amount um let's out let's see our let's assume that our output vat let's just do the writing let's assume that our output vat is 200 000, 200 000. 
So to get the sales amount for that 200,000, the sales amount for that 200,000, which is what we put in the schedule here. So we'll just come here. We'll just come here and then we'll do 200,000 divided by 0 0.075, right? So this is the figure. We have 266. 266666667 that's our figure right so we we'll, we'll copy this and then we we'll paste it here i hope this is well understood so let me just do a quick re recap what i did was i said it is a it is a product based company this particular scenario too is a manufacturing company and for manufacturing company you are you are allowed to claim both impute vat you are allowed to claim impute VAT, right? So we're assuming that the impute VAT for this company, the VAT, the impute VAT is 50,000. To get the purchase amount for this 50,000 impute VAT, we have to work back, which is doing 50,000 divided by 0 0.075. If you are lucky that you have the, the invoice amount already, then you don't have to do this plenty calculation that we did. Just put the, just pen down the, the, the invoice amount somewhere. For the output VAT, the output VAT, the VAT on the output is 200,000. So to get the sales amount that gave us that output VAT of 200,000, we work back with it 200,000 divided by 0 0.075 to get the figure, which is what we have here. So let's continue, delete this, and then we save this. So let's just save this. Um, and then we go back to our, our tax pro max. Go back to tax pro max, select the currency, and then choose file. We pick that file that we just worked on right now and then we click on upload schedule. You can see that um, the vertable, the cost is this amount. This is vertable, the description. Once we show that everything is fine, we click on proceed. Okay, we select the currency. Click on proceed. No purchase record, no problem. Click on proceed. If you have any sales adjustments, you do that here. Click on proceed. Then this is what we have. You can see that the output tax is 200,000, which was what we have, which was what we are assumed, right? 200,000. The system, what the system will do is that figure that you put in your schedule, the system will take 7.5% of it, which is this 200,000. If you scroll down, you will see that we don't have any input VAT at the moment. So what you do is you scroll up, you come to this place, this place, this line 70, and then you impute the purchase cost there which is the purchase cost is i wrote it down before 666 666.67 that's the purchase cost that will give us the impute vat of 50,000. so you can see the impute vat is 50,000. if you scroll down your total impute vat is 50,000. your vat payable is now 150,000. i hope you understand your output vat is 200,000. your impute vat is 50,000, and then your vat payable is 150,000. very very simple and straight to the point if you think this is too fast you can slow down and replay the video watch it all over and all over again and i'm sure you will get it so this is 150,000. this is what you're going to pay to the government you click on declare and then you click on submit once you're done clicking on submit you go ahead and make the payment via remitter and that is it you are done with your VAT filing for that particular month thank you Okay, so the top thing we want to look at is how to file your VAT withheld at source. So you know that there are some companies that are mandated by law to withheld VAT from all their vendors. So if you do this business with this kind of companies, they will deduct the VAT and file it on your behalf. They are expected to file the VAT on or before the 14th of the next month. Um, these people, the people that are appointed are banks, they are telecommunication telecommunication companies, oil and gas companies, and then governments, ministries, and parastatas. If you do business with those kind of companies, they would deduct the VAT at so, so let's assume that you are an accountant working in a bank that has deducted VAT from their suppliers, and they are now mandated to file that VAT on behalf of the supplier. So to do that, this is all you need to do. It's quite, it's a bit different from how you file your regular VAT, your regular output VAT. Now you're filing VAT, VAT on behalf of others. So what you need to do is let's let's get right into it. You go straight to your tax pro max. Everything happens on tax pro max. So let's go back. Um, let's go back to home. So you will not go to taxes due. You will come to group taxes. Click on group taxes and then you would see withholding VAT. The fourth thing that you have there, withholding VAT. Click on withholding VAT. Choose the currency which is Naira. Select the period. Let's say you're filing for 
January. That means that that sh that should probably be happening in. Okay, you're filing for January, so you click on 31st of January, right? And then you choose file. So the file that you would use is actually very similar. It's still the same template that you used for this particular one, the same template that we have before now, the same template to use for your normal output and input VAT. So let's let's try and pop let's try and populate the, the template first of all. So let's come to our download and work on any of the templates that we have. So this template that we have here, we're actually working on it for our for our VAT withheld. So let's say we withheld as it you're like I said, you're working in a bank, right? Let's say you withheld VAT from a from a from a vendor called customer because I'm, I'm so sorry i can't think of any name right now the beneficiary tier and it's the tin of that particular customer you have to put it here it is very very important but because we don't have a tin this is a tutorial let's put zero here so what did the person what, what what was the what was the item what was what was the nature of the transaction was it a service did they supply goods so let's just say they rendered a professional service to us they rendered a professional service to us right to the bank to my bank me i'm the accountant of the bank right now how much is it so they rendered a service of one million and the vat that will be told on that one million was seventy five thousand. so we put one million here so item description vat we told on professional service vat we told for january 2024 right so the vat status is still zero because it is vatable so we go ahead and save this then we come back to our tax pro max we already have our schedule that we've worked on and then we select that particular schedule okay and then we click on proceed okay guys so there you have it that is a complete abc video on how to file your vat on tax pro max so i just want to go through the cost content again to be sure that we covered everything because i had to switch between devices i'm sure you noticed okay so how to file vat on tax pro max okay so we've covered the concept of input vat and output vat yes how to file new vat on tax pro max covered yeah um how to file regular vat on tax pro max whether manufacturing company or service-based company yes that is covered and then how to file VAT with ted on tax pro max yes that is also covered thank you so so much for staying up to this moment please go to the comment section if you have any further questions if you if there's anything at all that you would like me to cover please go to the comment section and drop it there any vat question that you have if there's any tutorial you want us to do on any vat topic please go to the comment section and drop it and we'll take a look at it thank you so much for joining this tutorial i will see you in the next one and do not forget to subscribe please thank you